Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Today we'll try to understand some of the Kubernetes concepts with a very simple analogy. So this is just an attempt uh, to convey some very complex concepts in a very very simple terms uh, or maybe in a simple layman examples. That's what I'm trying to do uh, and this is totally based on my own understanding. And please let me know if this is not making sense or there are some better analogies. I'm really happy to uh, get that knowledge sharing done. So let's give a try. So uh, and if there's any better analogies, please let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to take it and uh, share it with the entire community there. So let's get started. Kubernetes cluster. So with respect to GCP's context, Whenever we talk about Kubernetes, the one which is going to strike us is basically the managed version of Kubernetes, which is GKE. Now, if I want to explain this to a, a simple, uh, to a new, uh, a junior person who is just learning GCP uh, from the scratch, I can easily give an example as apartment. Uh, an apartment in this diagram, it's uh, four floors or four levels. 16 units are there or 16 houses are there. So that's a small analogy I can give straightforward. So something like N1 standard 4 kind of a configuration is what I can say basically e each machine or the entire cluster totally it's going to be having something like uh, 4 vCPUs, uh, 16 GB of RAM, something like that you can give an example. Now the next concept which I wanted to share is the namespace. So again for this, let's take the example of apartment itself. Each apartment is going to have n number of uh, levels or floors. So here it is having four floors. So each level I can relate it to a namespace. Now when it comes to Kubernetes, usually they create namespaces so that they can logically uh, divide their cluster, divide the cluster and give it to a specific team. One for uh, R&D, one for sales, one for uh, maybe for uh, financial team. So one cluster for the entire organization and uh, maybe it's a development environment, one powerful cluster and you have created namespaces and everybody is going to work in their own namespace. They're not going to interfere with the other namespace. So one floor equal to your one namespace in GKE. The next concept which I wanted to share is basically the pods. So pods in uh, the Kubernetes cluster. So again, let's take the example of apartment. Now each house or unit, we can relate it to a pod. So a uh, house will have a house number. So that's how we can go to that house. So similarly, each pod is going to have an IP address. So easy to connect. So if we know the IP address, we should be able to send traffic and receive traffic basically. So that's the small example or analogy here. The last one is containers in our uh, pod. So the pod is going to basically contain uh, the containers. So let's again take the example of apartment and you see a small human being here. So that's the, the lead here. So each house will have people one or groups of people. So similarly, uh, you can have one pod, it can have multiple containers. So a people, a person can be uh, mapped to a container basically. So uh, that's a small analogy. Uh, so hope it makes sense. Now let's make a small summary so that uh, uh, we can have some good idea. So uh, the whole analogy was based on an apartment or a flat. So the entire apartment, I can map it as a powerful GKE cluster. So each floors is going to be a namespace. A individual house is going to be a uh, in the apartment or the individual, the unit is going to be mapped to our pod. And people inside the house is going to be mapped to container. So, so that's a small analogy which I wanted to give folks. Please let me know whether the analogy makes sense or it is totally not making sense. Uh, uh, if, if you feel like this is really good, so I'll try to give something more like this for other stuff. So, so this is going to be really helpful for people who are learning uh, these concepts uh, 
for the first time so um, so i guess most of us who are currently in uh, advanced or in expert level or in an intermediate level would have crossed the stage so it was just, it's just an attempt to make things very clear for the the newcomers or who are learning these uh, advanced concepts uh, now so that was the attempt please let me know your thoughts in the comment section uh, hope the video is helpful thanks for watching